Good morning, folks. Afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. Uh, thank you very much for having me. My name's Owen. Yes, this is quite a mouthful of a title, so apologies for that. Yeah, so we wanted to showcase a scenario in Microsoft Teams development that we've been working on that while it's possible today, it's not something that's like immediately obvious from the documentation and samples that exist. But before I run into a new sample, let me quickly summarize some key building blocks that we're using. So conversational tabs is something that has existed in Teams for a while and allows you to create a conversation around a sub entity or tab inside of a Microsoft Teams um, application in your channel. So in the left hand side here, you'll see an image where you can have a conversation about the content in the, on the, in the tab essentially. Um, this is done using the Teams JavaScript SDK and it's, it's a simple way to add uh, collaboration to your app. It, but the one kind of issue is it's kind of like a file and forget where like the ISV or the app might create the conversation, but then the conversation happens without the ISV being aware of it or even like getting much to a say inside of it. But one of the key things it does allow you to do is it allows you to pass in a conversation ID, and this is used to help um, reopen a conversation in the future if somebody comes back to the entity in the sub entity in the future and you want to talk about the conversation again. Oh, sorry, one thing I forgot to mention, this conversation actually takes place inside of the channel. And so any any in the po channel's posts, you can see this conversation also. And so it allows for like a uh, communication to be specific to a sub entity, but available to the entire group. And this, sorry, and this conversation idea we're storing is useful in our POC that we'll see in a second. The other thing that I want to talk about is bots and teams. And if you're aware of any sort of teams apps, I'm sure you're aware of bots. And they're very useful for creating and responding to conversations. Uh, activity handlers, sending texts, cards, and images, emojis, etc. But again, it kind of focused on uh, responding to events rather than creating them, and that's perfectly fine. It's very useful for a lot of scenarios. But one thing we wanted to handle in that proof of concept is actually creating conversations without having a bot being invoked directly. So bots and teams are built in the bot framework, and you can create conversations directly using the connected client. You are the server behind the, the bot as associated with bottom framework. And so our proof concept, we wanted to create a proof of concept that allows you to have a conversation about an event that happened externally. And then you can have context about that inside the tab. So an example of this that might be implemented is like an omni-channel support where you got a support channel and each um, support inquiry ends up in a a specific channel and teams you can open up that inquiry have a chat about the inquiry and in the left hand side you can have uh, more context provided or maybe you do this with job applications where each application uh, each candidate's application can be visible as a conversation and you can view the cv in the left hand side and talk about talk with your managers and um, recruiters in the chat in the right hand side or even an like instant management and um, where you have a new conversation for each incident and you can view details and graphs about the incident in the main tab not that i recommend using teams as an instant manager so from the building blocks that i was discussing earlier um, you can get the service url that we need to create a new conversation from the bot install activity you can create a conversation using the bot client you can send a conversation id to a tab that is created from that conversation that you just created a back line and um, to be used in the conversational tabs and then you can open a conversation in the side panel so these all things are separate kind of ideas i suppose but you can build them together into a great example inside microsoft teams so let me kind of quickly showcase this and hopefully this all works out so this is a sample teams channel I've got going and um, you can see we've got a few different channels we've got a general channel um, that includes information about uh, our sales tickets we got a finance channel just a final things and we got an IT team that contains information about um, IT tickets and so you can see here we got a few inquiries that I've created, that I've created this morning just to showcase this sample but before I jump into that let me quickly kind of create a new um, ticket and you can imagine this this is kind of like a stand-in for an external service so in the real world this might be a um, it help desk or some other instance but here we're kind of like just instead of creating a whole new service we're just, this is our external service in inverted quotes so let's say mike is going to create a new question he's going to say i have lost my charger on my laptop can you help 
And so this is coming from an external server somewhere, and it's going to end up in our channel. And you see here now on the bottom side, we've created a brand new conversation using the bot framework to for Mike's inquiry. We can open this detail directly. This will bring us into our tab where you can see information about the, the inquiry. You can open up the conversation left hand side where you can see more information about it. Um, and I can reply and I tag someone and say, hey Adele, do you mind shipping like a charger? And this happens inside a team. So if I go back to the, the posts directly, you can see that I can't, my, my message to Adele has showed up already. It's very useful. You can also go via the actual tab directly and in the tab itself, we've got a list of all the tickets that are currently available and you can open up a different ticket, um, view information about it and reply to the conversation directly. And this one hasn't been responded yet. So let me get Lynn on this, hang on this. Any updates? But one of the very, and so one thing about conversation tabs is that you can only create them inside of a channel. So a conversation tab cannot be created in a group chat or a personal chat or one-on-one -on -one chat. Um, but what you can do is um, have a personal app that references conversational tabs directly. So in this scenario, we've got a conversational tab where our support technician is able to see all of the uh, instance from every department that they are a member of. And we use this to do this. We use Microsoft Graph. So we're querying Microsoft Graph to get the users teams and the channels they're a member of. And we then use that information to filter out the, the support departments that exist to show that user just like here are the tickets that are available to you. So this is very useful if you need to have a, a technician across multiple teams that's working with these things. And so somebody can open up, the technician can open up a specific inquiry, open up the conversation, have a chat um, and reply directly. And that conversation will end up back in the Teams channel where this post was originally posted. So you can see that ended up here. here. So that's very useful for me. Um, kind of single place of working for, for the ITM. So we'll run through the code in a second, but just as a quick summary again of what just happened, it's a simple workflow of proof of concept. So on the left, you can see that a support request comes in for a customer. That ends up hitting an external endpoint um, or the external endpoint controller, where we create a new conversation for the request. And that conversation ID is stored with the, along with the request in a database. Inside a Teams client, then you can view the conversation in a channel. You can open up the sub entity or the, or the specific request in, a, in the tab view by deep linking to it. And in the tab view, it queries the debate database for the request details and the conversation ID. So that can be opened up in the tab sidebar. This code is available today on the Microsoft Teams sample repository. But before that, I'm going to run through quickly um, the stuff that the little pieces that kind of might be of most of interest to how this all works. To do this, I'm going to actually use a thing called CodeTour, which is it's available in, in the um, repository that is shared. And it's a very useful way of kind of jumping through the code simply. So when the, when we first install the bot, this is using the on team members added async method. We store information like the service URL. This is used so that we know how to send a send a create conversation request to the bot in the future. Um, we saw this along with the team's team ID. Um, and as you and so later on when we have to create a new conversation, we say, what's the team ID? OK, here's the service URL for that, for that team. I'm going to skip a few things just to make sure I'm not going over on time. But essentially, we use we're storing everything at the moment in our sample using an in-memory database, but in a production environment, this would obviously be that you need to have a more reliable um, data store. Um, let me skip that. All right. So when we creating a new support department or something similar, we authorize to make sure the user who is trying to create this um, um, department is a member of the team that they are creating the department in. So we do a quick authorize. We do we call, make a quick sorry. Excuse me. We make a quick call to Microsoft Graph to ensure that they the user is a member of that team. 
So when a user creates a new inquiry, uh, we hit the external controller endpoint. Uh, in here, we pass, we, we kind of navigate down through the code, but essentially we we create a new uh, sub-entity. This new inquiry sub-entity uh, gets information about the support department here. That support department includes information like the service URL that we stored initially when the bot was first created. Or first installed, apologies, including the Teams channel ID, ID the tenant ID. We get the, the bot ID from our settings, and then we've created an adaptive card that includes all the information, including the customer's inquiry details. This conversation and uh, parameters are then sent, and we try and create the conversation directly. And when a conversation, if that conversation is created correctly, we update our state a database store with the customer inquiries and the conversation ID. Um, yeah, and so on code culture. Sorry, I've kind of jumped a bit too jumped the gun a few on a few points here. All right. In the front end, in our tab directly, we make a call. So if you need to actually load an inquiry or a sub entity into a tab, we make a call to our back end where we query the support department, the, the, the inquiry based on its sub entity ID. As part of this query, we get a conversation ID returned, and that ends up calling this open conversation function. This is calling the Microsoft Teams SDK, and it's passing in the conversation ID that has been returned from the API. And this is how we actually can show the same conversation multiple times. And um, there's a few things along in, in this setup that is also important to have where you need to have callback handlers for when somebody closes the conversation tab directly using the X button. And that actually opens conversation tab. So you can have it all entirely in one big flow from start to finish where you can create an external conversation. I say create an external inquiry that led, leads to a conversation to be created that leads to a the inquiry being visible and the conversation created inside of a tab where you can reply and uh, you can have a lot of uh, communication inside of Microsoft Teams. Then. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, feel free to throw them in the chat. I'll take a look at them. Um, and thank you, David, for your time. Awesome, awesome stuff. And and and. and Bonus points for the uh, code tour. A lot of fans here for that. Uh, there's some questions in the uh, chat. So just in the interest of time, I'll let you kind of cover those uh, there in the chat. But thank you for the fantastic demo today.